And look at these criminals prancing around. Rishi Sunak, who's this billionaire <laughs> bitch who's like, you ain't voted in nowhere. Never mind all these other people. Like the, now we've even got, what's his name? Um, Keir Starmer, sir. That bastard excused Rick, uh, Jimmy Savile. He's the one who signed off and said there wasn't enough evidence. That bastard is going to be the prime minister. So a guy who literally, literally, who signed off and said not enough evidence of the man what we now know, Sir Jimmy Savile, who raped 500, 500, while being greeted by the Queen and, uh, you know, BBC covering Keir Starmer. Is this acceptable? I'll tell you what, I'd rather die in the fight than bow to that crap. And, you know, this country did me a favor by arresting me and go on, investigate me, you bastards. Throw me in, I don't care. I will die with my honor. To me, that's what's lost. You know, I, we said this as we greeted before this interview. There used to be a time where you could shake hands and that was a deal. Your, your word was your bond. Where is that gone? Where is that gone? Where is the old school men? What is this progressive, feminized, pussy-ass BS? I have no problem with gay people, but I don't want to have to explain to my son why these two men are French kissing over here. I don't even want a straight couple doing that. Why are you groping each other like that? Where's the family values gone? And I mean, I'm a massive practitioner of freedom. Massive. But freedom without ethics is why I call this place Sodom and Gomorrah. Anything you want is on tap in this town. Fun as hell if you want to come and have a debauched, you know, like pff, morally depraved good time. I've done it myself, not to the greatest degree possible. But the world is upside down, in my opinion. If we're going to boil it down, we need to turn that world right side up. That pyramid <laughs> that's like that with all the power at the top, we need to invert that bastard, turn it back like that.